Hey, <coughs> these two kits came in pretty recently. The K4 came in yesterday, and the G2 came in today. But uh, there's a lot of parts in this. But here's the uh, painting instructions, painting and uh, decaling instructions for three different K models. Decals. Through D, through B. Well, this kit does share parts with the uh, between the uh, G, but not a whole lot of screws for that. <laughs> Basically, it's these three screws that are the same in the uh, the later model G's and the uh, and the K. Uh, especially the uh, says it not many because the rest of these are. You know, different. This one's definitely different between, you know, these two kits because you get different callings and propellers. Photo etch parts. Close. But be able to use the uh, this one because well, well, I guess you could. This one is specific to the uh, K. Well, the K and the G's that use the Erla hood. <coughs> <coughs> the one piece rear canopy. And then the uh, gear doors. Hmm. Well, actually, you got a few server hood and that. And then this one's through that. <coughs> That's actually shared between both. So you got the painting and decaling instructions for the G2. Again, three different 
aircraft with only one being to a named pilot, Gunther Rall, who also has another kit or has another BF-109 I think it was an E model that had his uh, aircraft in it too. Now, this particular screw is different to the uh, later model G's because it does not have the option to drill out holes for bulges. This was only this is a feature that was found to be similar on the F models. They use the same wheels as the early G's. <coughs> but some of these screws are, are found on the G6 kit. Mainly this one, but you don't use the uh, cowlings on this. You use the ones on uh, this does the same on the uh, G6 as well. G6 had the extra cowlings for the uh, Vold's cowling uh, version. Got these. And one decal sheet for uh, between the three. Yeah, I think the uh, decals look nice on uh, it, especially the instrument panel decal. Two-part rear canopy and front windscreen. <coughs> the uh, photo edge set. And this does include some really nice seat belts. As well as the uh, solid headrest, the photo edge headrest. And then parts to make the uh, early model hats for the uh, life raft. Rubber tires. <coughs> and the sage screw. <coughs> the uh, instructions have these flanked off. Or, or they're still there. Yeah, these will build us some really nice planes. <coughs> it also has a really nice 
20 millimeter cannon that goes into the engine. This this one has a 30 millimeter cannon. And the assembly process is similar to both, but different aspects to the uh, basement of the cannon and the uh, aircraft. Well, see you guys later.